starting to see quite frequently here at Hitbox Arena. Two of our strongest players, arguably the two strongest players that we have regularly coming here. We have Emu Killer and Bleach. Bleach, an old school brawl player, used to go by the name of Bleachigo. And Emu Killer, old school melee player. This guy's been around since the old days, man. Practiced with Zanguzen when he was still in high school. Can you believe it? And uh, other great players such as Abate ha and um, actually I think just Abate, Zhang and Emu Killer, all coming from Wayne, New Jersey. Really interesting to see these three uh, three breakout players from a small town near my homeland of West Milford, New Jersey. All right, and it looks like. Emu Killer is sticking with Roy. He picked up the 3-0 in Winner's Finals like this. Uh, and it looks like he's just sticking to what's proven to work before. And just in case, he's got that Mewtwo to fall back on. Strong start again. Looking like Bleach either has to pick up an alternate character to deal with Roy. Or uh, just needs to learn the matchup. I'm not quite sure how Zero Suit fares, fares against him. Excuse me. Oh, and... Let me uh, fix that to indicate who's in losers and who's in winners. I'm sure that should come as no surprise to you regular viewers that Emu Killer is on the winner's side of the Grand Finals. Ooh, that Flare Blade, but great DI from Bleach. Staying alive. That move can kill... If you DI poorly, man, that move kills extra, extra early. Alright, finds himself in there with a grab to up, throw, or up air. I apologize. Okay. Staying alive. Can do that down B off the stage. Pretty high risk, high reward move there. Actually, it's fairly low risk if your opponent's, excuse me, bad at punishing tethers. The Emu Killer definitely has learned how to take care of that. And the down smash on the whiff grab. Easy peasy punish right there. Nice stuff from... Emu Killer's Roy really holding it down. Oh, the double down tilt on shield, knowing that Zero Suit Samus has very, very, very poor uh, out of shield options. Okay, that Flare Blade again to just knock him off stage. Emu Killer a full stock ahead at this point. Oh, that would have been so sick. The around the world, carrying him all the way to the platform. Wow. And Emu Killer still getting the kill anyway. Nice, just baits out that whiff down smash by spending both of his jumps. Oh, unable to recover. Zero Suit Samus is stocked down, but she's a very explosive character. If she gets her hands on you, she can really do some damage, man. She punishes hard. Side B to neutral air. Oh, goes for another side B. Hoping to catch Emu Killer spot dodging or running away, maybe. Trying to outrange one of his moves if he tried to challenge. Ooh, and falling short of the edge. All right, this match getting a bit closer here. Bleach only 84% down, 100% down, and now he's off the stage. How will Emu handle this? Oh, no edge guard, but still staying on him, keeping hot on his trail once he returns to the stage. Ooh, the down air gets a fair only afterward. Nothing too big. Oh, and the overhead swing of the flare blade catches him. Okay, Emu killer. Oh, almost waits out all those invincibility frames, but kind of messed up a wave land. Okay, Bleach has a chance. No, but failing to capitalize off that grab. Wasn't really sure how to punish. A little chain grab action from Emu Killer. Just really great corner control, making sure Bleach's back is always to the wall. Oh, the whip grab. Wow, he breaks out early. Nice mashing by Bleach. Oh, but how is he going to get down from this? Roy just covering the platform underneath with so many hitboxes. And nice. Nice edge control. Beating that tether out. Ooh, and the forward smash. Chop chops. There goes game one. Two stock finish for Emu Killer. Looks like Bleach is going to switch characters. He's going over to Meta Knight. Okay, we saw Bleach do this when coming from losers and grand finals against Lazy two weeks ago, I believe it was. And the Meta Knight was quite successful. Oh, Smash Player 69. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I'm going to time you out real quick because you're spamming a little bit hard. Can I adjust that for like... Uh, 10 minutes, whatever. I I'm cool with that. 10 minutes is fine. Yeah, just chill with the spam, guys. 
Alright, Meta Knight versus Roy. On WarioWare. Gotta love this music, man. That Pac-Man remix. Alright, down throw from Bleach. Oh, doesn't get the tech chase. Expecting Emu Killer to roll towards the edge. Placing his neutral air accordingly, but Emu Killer teching in toward the stage. Normally thought to be a scrub habit, because of course, you know, if you're knocked away from the center of the stage, you want to roll back toward it, so that makes it very predictable, but sometimes picking the predictable option is unpredictable, especially if you're really good. Your opponent expects to give you a lot of credit. Alright man, no no impersonation on the stream. That's gonna get you the ban hammer. But back to the match. Super, super tight battle right now. Bleach only one kill move away from tying this up, and is that it? Yes. Roy's up till not safe on hit there. Okay. Gets the down B. This game basically dead even. Oh, unfortunate drill rush on the stage. Okay. Unsafe downer on block. Emu Killer not quite getting the tech chase there. And, ooh. Doesn't punish the downer directly, but still putting Bleach in a bad position, able to capitalize. Charging up that flare blade near the edge. Oh, and Bleach just challenging it head on with a down B. That dimensional cape. Okay, Bleach getting the second kill. Okay, dead even. Game two of Grand Finals right now. Bleach fighting to come back from the loser's bracket. He's got to win six total games. Definitely a mountain to climb against Emu Killer, but let's see if this Roy versus Meta Knight matchup is working out for him. Emu Killer actually on the internet was arguing with uh, Inui over whether or not this was a uh, a winning matchup for Roy or Meta Knight. Emu Killer adamantly thinks that Roy wins the matchup, whereas Inui thinks the opposite. It looks like even though he's fighting for Inui, he's fighting to prove Inui right. Okay, down tilt to soft nair from Bleach, and he's got the down throw into neutral air. Short boundaries on WarioWare, enough to take him out. Carries him down with down air. Ooh, nice dash dance. Emu Killer stays blocking. Bleach able to pick up that grab. Oh, okay. Just goes for the edge. Doesn't want to risk doing anything unsafe and having it blocked and punished. Ooh, Bleach let himself or let his opponent get between himself and the stage when edge guarding. That is one of the cardinal sins of edge guarding. If you want to do that, you got to keep it, keep it, uh, keep yourself between the stage and the opponent. Do not let your opponent cross you up, otherwise they have the positional advantage. And oh, Bleach just running off and SDing. Now they are tied in stocks, making this a lot easier for Emo Killer to come back from. But no, the JV2 stock from Bleach, despite an SD, is still winning. All right, 1-1 one, one in Grand Finals. It looks like Bleach is going to be sticking with Meta Knight until further notice. Maybe he's going to get bopped if uh, Emo Killer switches back over to Mewtwo, but not really sure. Okay. Going into game three. All right. Green Hill Zone for game three. Staying with the Roy versus Meta Knight matchup. It looks like Emu Killer's not going to be picking Meta or uh, Mewtwo until he is knocked into the loser's bracket, or maybe until it's uh, two one in Bleach's favor. Oh, the zero to death though. That uh, I forgot to press buttons to get back to the stage from Emu Killer. Nice. Responding with a bold down air, though. Trying to keep Meta Knight in these light hit combos from Roy. That's what Emu Killer said he believes gives Roy the edge in this matchup over Meta Knight. Is that he can combo in with kill moves with his weak aerials very easily. And kill Meta Knight at super low percents. Ooh, blocking the dimensional cape in time. Wow. <laughs> Bleach just drill rushing from the edge of the stage. Regaining stage control entirely. Goes for the grab release. And that almost kills Roy, but not quite. Mm, covering that tech option. Down tilts first, just in case he didn't tech. Then jabbing because he reacted or read the tech in place. Very smart from Emu Killer, but 
Unfortunately, he needs to be a little bit smart if he wants to make up for this deficit. Oh, great spacing. Reading Bleach is down there into the ground and the angle and everything. He gets the speed swap, excuse me, forward smash and takes him out. Okay, down throw. Oh, and another SD from Emu Killer. Unfortunate stuff. It's looking like this game three is in Bleach's control for now, but we've seen Emu Killer's Roy do some crazy combos. Ooh, accidental getup attack. Can't help but think that was Edge Hop in there. But Bleach still getting the better of the situation. Oh, gets the jab, but Emu Killer able to get out mid jab. Oh, and an SD from Bleach that time. Super unfortunate stuff. These guys staying even, but uh, they're mostly taking their own stocks away here. Bleach not quick enough with that back air out of shield. Ooh, good DI down and tech for Emu Killer. Oh, kind of saved Bleach there. And wow, that drill rush extending a little bit further than I thought. Alright, stocks are dead even. Only 20% sitting on Emu Killer. Oh, whips the counter. Oh, Bleach unable to capitalize off that double hit forward air, but still. Ooh, had the positional advantage until Emu Killer seized it there. These two very back and forth. Neither has been primarily in control, or uh, rather dominantly in control of either match or any of the matches that have been played so far. Except when uh, Bleach was still zero suit, actually. Emu Killer was doing a number on him. That up throw to down B though. Big knockback and big knockback on that forward smash. Super powerful. Okay, there he goes. Bleach taking a second game. Is this enough to compel Emu Killer to switch to Mewtwo or is it going to have to wait for set two? Also guys, I appreciate the love from all the homies who have shared the stream link. Shoutouts to Chibo, D1. Uh, I believe Bobby shared the link. Unreal Cho, aka uh, Tempest. Okay, we are in game three or game four right now, though. By the way, guys, please share the uh, share the link on Twitter, Facebook, what have you. Ooh, the jump to down air from Bleach, but doesn't L cancel it, allowing Emu Killer to keep it going. Yeah. Oh, the up air, up air, forward smash, final destination. Definitely a great pick for Roy in this matchup. Gives Meta Knight a lot less room to navigate with platforms. I saw what he was going for, picking Green Hill Zone. Kind of a similar uh, tactic there, but not quite enough to do it. Especially because there were some nasty SDs, but by both players, to be fair. Oh, now Bleach finding his way in there. Goes for the double forward, double forward tilt to grab, but kind of overshoots it. The conditioning idea was smart, and it was right, but unfortunately not enough. And wow, down tilt to turn around Flare Blade. Very, very smart. Okay. Emu Killer was off the stage, but managed to get back with the multiple hits of that up B. Even though it doesn't go great distances, it still has multiple hits, making it pretty difficult to edge guard and also alterable angle. Okay, Emu Killer with the tech chases. Oh, not another one though. Down throw to down B. Oh, doesn't go for the Edgehog. That time he does, though. All right, Bleach taking the lead. Looking like he's well on his way to resetting the bracket, but can't get too comfortable because Emu Killer, really, really solid player. Even though he's not Mewtwo, this Roy is still something fearsome. Down air to forward smash, killing Meta Knight off the top. Mm. Emu Killer whiffing the punish with that forward air a little bit too close to the ground. Great coverage by Bleach, just placing the Nair preemptively in the way, or in the trajectory that Roy's up B was going to travel at. Okay, forward throws. Oh, another one. Oh, and almost a fourth. Emu Killer has done nothing but forward throw and forward smash the stock. Has 38 damage to show for it, but... Ooh, nice. 
challenges the forward smash from the skies with that down air. And oh, just charges the flare blade at the edge, taking the stock lead. Emo Killer saying he's still in it to win it. He could take this to a game five if he keeps it up. Final Destination looking like a good choice for this matchup. Mm, goes with the double up air into forward smash. And all right, Bleach has him off the stage. It's definitely being a kill, or excuse me, gonna be a kill. With no double jump to recover from. Come on, dude. Yeah. Yeah, by the way, guys, uh, please don't make alternate accounts to spam in the chat, because that's really, really, really annoying. That's the last thing we need here at uh, Hitbox Arena. Trying to keep it fun in the chat for everybody, not having to read through a spam fest. Yeah, Twitch does need IP bans. Jesus. Okay, so the set is now 2-2. Two, two. Wait. It's 2-2. Two, two. Emu Killer not wanting to let this go to a second set. And now we see the real stuff. The Emu Killer Mewtwo and the Bleach Zero Suit. Of course, Bleach is Meta Knight, quite real as well. But, uh, I don't know if he really is trying to try Meta Knight against Emu Killer's Mewtwo. That seems like it's a really tough matchup. Okay. Oh! Bleach with the first stock! Excellent up B. Man, if he can reset the bracket against this Mewtwo also, that would be doubly impressive. And, oh, still living. Shadow Claw, not quite enough to kill him. Oh, great <laughs> paralyzer. Emu Killer actually ran into it as it was traveling. Wow, loving these combos from Bleach. On the fly improvisations. And up throw, is that going to be it? Nope. She's got some falling speed to her, man. She's a little harder to kill off the top than off the side. And that's going to be it. Okay. 43% behind Mr. Emu Killer right now. Oh, Bleach going for the turnaround forward smash at the edge, trying to cover both sides, hoping Emu Killer would get antsy and teleport on the stage, but not taking the bait. Has since taken the lead, though. Mm, gets through the triple jab. And now, oh! Emu Killer accidentally killing himself there. Okay. Bleach able to recover. Mm, the confusion loops, though. Emu Killer really fighting to gain back this lead. He's had one SD and one low percent kill against him, so let's see if we can do this. Okay, the neutral air out of shield to punish the whiff grab. And up throw, is he still living? No, that time he's not. Bleach tried DIing behind Mewtwo. I think maybe DIing away from Mewtwo will help you survive a little tiny bit longer. Gonna have to hit the lab and check that one out, though. Okay, great. Running away to meet him on the reappearance from his teleport. Okay, back air. Okay. Emu Killer. Slightly behind still. Ooh, knocks him off with the back air. Bleach with both his down B and his double jump though. Oh wow, psychic stuff from Emu Killer. Of course, playing a psychic Pokemon with those great reads. Now he is up barely. Just one solid hit from Zero Suit Samus. Oh, oh, that was, speaking of psychic, awesome stuff from Bleach. 
Calling Emu Killer's teleport, just charging the Paralyzer the other way. Knows exactly when he's trying to move and get a little impatient. Good blocks. Oh, great upbeat of forward smash. Bleach still in the game right now. He's taken games from Emu Killer's Mewtwo before, and he is here trying to do it again right now. Nice forward air to multiple up airs for Emu Killer. Mewtwo with such an amazing follow-up game against pretty much every character in this game. And... Oh, unable to hit him there. Emu Killer just walling him out with these disjointed hitboxes. That tail reaches so far. Oh, and is that going to be it? No, goes for the... Oh, yes. Kills him off the side with up air. And that is it. That is PM in the PM. Numero Dose, number 12 for you guys. And we're actually going to have doubles coming up now uh, for those of us who are sticking around late enough to enter that. So stay tuned for the doubles action. But the main event, which is singles, has been over or has ended. So, guys, if you want to stick around for the stream, how many teams do you have left?